you've been around older Mercedes diesels, you know how annoying engine oil leaks can be. Not only do you lose oil, but they're very messy. That dark oil can stain your driveway, your garage floor. And sometimes they're not very easy to fix, and sometimes they're not even easy to find. It requires cleaning the engine off, running the engine, and trying to find the source, the actual source where that engine oil is coming from. There is one area, particularly on all 616 and 617 diesel engines that were produced from 1977 to 1985 that you can almost always count on leaking. It's never been replaced before. It's that oil filter housing to engine block seal. This is the seal right here. And when this starts to leak, it, you can lose a lot of oil because there's a lot of high pressure going by this gasket. If you've done an oil change on one of these older engines, this will look familiar right here. This is where the oil filter goes. And if I turn it over, you can see uh, this flange area that bolts up to the engine block. And this is the, the special gasket that's held in place. Changing the gasket is not as easy as it looks. It requires some special techniques and maybe even a couple of special tools to be able to pull this job off without a lot of frustration. But if you're getting oil leaks along the bottom edge of this housing, there is no solution but to replace this gasket. Early on in my Mercedes diesel experience, I discovered that this leak was so common that I came up with a kit for the average DIY mechanic. This is probably somewhere between a two-star and a three-star job. It's not easy and it can be frustrating, but I've written a complete set of detailed instructions along with pictures to show you how to remove the oil filter housing. We also include only the Mercedes OE gasket. That's another thing I learned over the years. Do not use an aftermarket gasket. When you consider all the work that has to go into doing this job, you only want the authentic gasket. I also designed a special little tool. It's not very fancy, but it's a cutoff short and Allen that'll allow you to get to those difficult bolts that sit very close to the steering box on most of those cars. Along with that, I include a couple of zip ties, and you're probably saying, well, Kent, why do you have zip ties? I actually use zip ties to hold the gasket in place because when you're setting that housing back down in the engine compartment, trying to line that gasket up with the bolt holes, that can be very difficult. But once again, zip ties to the rescue. To remove the oil filter housing from the engine block, you will need to remove these oil cooler lines. And this can be one of the most frustrating parts of the entire job. I came up a number of years ago with a special wrench that I make here in my shop, which will allow you to go on over the top of this line and grab a hold of this nut to loosen it. Without this wrench, it is very difficult to remove and replace these oil cooler lines. This wrench is not included in the kit, but it is available along with the stub section here on my website, and those can be purchased separately. But I highly recommend, if you're taking on this job, that you get this wrench set. In conclusion, I think I should also say something more about these oil cooler lines. Failure of this hose right here can lead to catastrophic engine failure. This has happened to a number of our customers, so this should not be taken lightly. You always want to inspect this area along here. This is prone to rubbing against the V-belts because it sits right below the power steering belt. These fittings can also loosen up and they can start leaking. If you do not know the history of these oil cooler lines, that they've been replaced within the last 10 years, then I highly recommend that these be replaced for both your safety and the safety of your engine. So if you're thinking about changing this oil filler housing gasket, this is a great time to replace these oil cooler lines as well. In future videos, we will also cover more areas of diesel engine oil leaks.